Hello everyone, here is a question based on structural and stereo isomers. What is the total number of possible isomers considering both structural as well as stereo isomers of cyclic ethers of molecular formula C4H8O? For this elemental composition, the degree of unsaturation will be 1 because it is 1 plus number of carbon atoms that is 4 minus number of hydrogen atoms that is 8 by 2. Therefore, this is 5 minus 4 and that is equal to 1. So, let us write all the cyclic ethers. This is definitely one of the tricky questions. Number 1, we can definitely write tetrahydrofuran that is one isomer and then number 2, we can also write 2 methyl oxytane that has a chiral center. Therefore, we need to consider it as 2 isomers. So, let us say this is one isomer and then its corresponding enantiomer is this one. Just imagine that the mirror plane is behind the slide instead of sideways. And then number 4, we can also write 3 methyl oxytane, but that does not have a chiral center because we have 2 CH2s, therefore it does not have a chiral center. And then number 5, we can also write 2 comma 2 dimethyl oxyrin that does not have a chiral center because we have 2 methyl groups. And then number 6, we can also write 2 ethyl oxyrin that has a chiral center therefore, we need to consider it as 2 isomers. So, this is 1 isomer and then it is a corresponding enantiomer will look like this. And then number 8, we can also write 2 comma 3 dimethyl oxyrin that has two chiral centers, but because of the inherent plane of symmetry, this is a meso compound. We do have a mirror plane here. One half of the molecule is a mirror image to other half of the molecule. Therefore, this is a meso compound. This means that we are going to have three stereoisomers instead of four stereoisomers. We have two chiral centers. In this case, we definitely have two chiral centers. But we are going to have three isomers because it is a meso compound. And then other isomer is this one. Let us change the stereochemistry at one place. This is one isomer and then it is a corresponding enantiomer. Let us change the stereochemistry at both the places. So, these two are enantiomers. Now, one of the trickiest part in this question is whether to consider this molecule as a cyclic ether or not. This is methoxy cyclopropane. It is partially cyclic. It is an ether, but we should not include this molecule in the count. So, to be considered as a cyclic ether, the oxygen atom has to be part of the ring. This molecule is definitely an isomer of C4H8O. It is partially cyclic, but we should not call this as a cyclic ether. So, that is the tricky part here. Therefore, we should exclude this in the count. Therefore, the correct option is option 3, 10 isomers. And by the way, this is also a mesomer, but these two are identical. This molecule and this molecule are identical. You should not count this as one isomer. So, in that way also, one can make a mistake. And that is the reason I said this is one of the tricky questions.